The government has marked World TB Day by announcing $30 million for TB treatment and diagnostic research. Tuberculosis is increasingly a threat in the Torres Strait, where it's spread from Papua New Guinea. In Canberra, a TB survivor turned campaigner from the Philippines has been telling her story to Australian politicians. Former architect Louisa Pedder was rendered blind as a result of TB treatment. Now she's an advocate speaking to politicians in Canberra for World TB Day. I am a tuberculosis survivor from Manila in the Philippines. TB is one of the world's most contagious diseases. Each year, nine million people are infected. One in three gets no treatment. One in six die. 56% of all new cases are in Southeast Asia and the Western Pacific. Effectively, we have an absolute plague which is four kilometres from our uh, doorstep on the, in the western province of Papua New Guinea. Louis lost her health and her career. I can't go back to being an architect anymore. As a campaigner, Louis spreads the message about the new danger of multi-drug resistant TB and that it's hard to treat. Because the side effects of the medication is just really um, um, hard, to, uh, hard to describe. It's like um, killing you slowly. Louis knows her personal story is powerful. Every time that somebody hears about my fight, it, I, I seem to change uh, the, minds, uh, the mindsets of, of the people that I talk to. Last year, the first cases of TB reached the Torres Strait from Papua New Guinea. In Parliament, Louis is being hosted by North Queensland MP Warren Ench. Only two weeks ago, we had a young lass at one of the local high schools was diagnosed with uh, multiple drug uh, with uh, with drug resistant tuberculosis, and of course, you can imagine how that feels and, uh, uh, for the community. But we've had two deaths: a mother and then a daughter. Uh, who passed away in, uh, in Cairns Hospital. Warren Ench says testing is being set up in high-risk areas. We have three clusters, for example, in three of the outer islands in the Torres Strait, known clusters for tuberculosis. Louis began to lose her sight very quickly after diagnosis in 2006. When the physicians heard that it's TB, they gave me the first line of medication. But in the first few weeks, I'm starting to see some blurry patches in my vision. Her message is that it's not just a problem for developing countries. On World TB Day, Australia has announced $30 million from aid funds for TB treatment and diagnostic services. We are seeing an increasing number of TB cases present in hospitals in northern Australia. It's a security issue for Australia, it's a security issue for PNG. Foreign Minister Julie Bishop says the fight against TB is urgent. Catherine McGrath, SBS World News.